Hey guys, it's me, Eerie Gamer here, and today we're going to be doing a recap on 2022 and the three characters that I feel got the biggest buff or at least got significantly better this year alone. The only criteria for these characters to make it on this list is they have to be released in 2021 and cannot be limited units like for example Alloy. So extremely strong units like Nahida and Yelan who were released in 2022 don't count towards this list because we are only looking at characters that were around from the start. Now 2022 had new frustrating new monsters in Abyss and the arrival of Dendro shook things up really quite a bit. But before we jump into my top 3, I'd like to invite y'all to just pause this video right about now and share with me in the comments your top 3 units that you felt got significantly better in 2022. So go ahead and pause the video. And now let's look at the character in number 3. <laughs> In third place, I'll give it to a character who was often mocked for very weak damage for most of Genshin Impact's existence. Kerching is, in my opinion, one of the characters that got buffed the most in 2022 from where she was and although not top meta now, she certainly is very much usable currently in the Spiral Abyss thanks to Sumeru and Dendro's aggravate reactions. For those of you who haven't tried how and aggravate, give it a go and you might actually find it as a refreshing way to play an OG character with improved damage. It won't be fun to fill all 3 slots with electro characters or 5 stars so let's mix things up here and prior to Sumeru, people often mock Toma for his very lackluster damage and his shielding some people even say lost to the shield tank variation of C4 Yen Fei. Within the year, he secured his place in Burgeon teams where he stacks plenty of elemental mastery to do tons of Burgeon damage from his off-field pyro application as well. You just stack tons of elemental mastery and he does really good damage. Many other characters also make the honourable list and but I didn't want to include all of them into the video if not it's going to be a super long video. So in my honourable mentions list, I would place characters like Sing Yen, Lisa, Yoimiya, and even Fischl as characters that got significantly better. But of course, many other characters that I didn't mention in this list also got big, significant jumps in performance with Dendro reactions. And if you're liking this video so far, do leave it a like and tell me if you want to see a sequel where I share with the characters that didn't do better but actually got worse in 2022. But anyway, let's get on with our number one. <laughs> Sangonomiya Kokomi Back in 2021 when she was first released, she was really criticised a lot by the community as being one of the worst characters released in Genshin. A healer, she can't crit, but the statistics don't lie and over time players realise that the versatility of her kit Actually, you could play her in almost any situation that needed either Hydro Application, Healing or even a Rage Attacker. Geo Wolf Lords, Corrosion Doggles and Flying Shenanigans the like made Kokomi a staple in most teams. Straight up, if you really ask me a character that got from zero to hero kind of style, in Genshin Impact, Kokomi fits that bill to a T or in K for Kokomi in this case. Do like and subscribe for more of such future content and do let me know what you think about my list. Did any of you happen to get all three characters the same as mine? I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.